he's square in this river. You know, when I grew up thinking I was so fortunate to live in this clean, green country where you could just go and swim in any river, and, and we've lost all that for the sake of what? I'm not sure. Now, he's back to test it. Pretty clear to me, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's nice clean water, isn't it? Nice and clear. Plenty of clarity there, no worries. Yeah. Would you drink it, though? Me? Oh, I'm not sure that I'd drink it, though. No. No. no, not down here. Yeah. We'll, we'll see yeah. what's got in it. Yeah. Well, it turns out the water here is pretty good. The lab test showed it has acceptable levels of nitrate and E. coli. As you travel down onto the Canterbury Plains, the water from the upper always been. And on either side of the dry river bed, 1,700 irrigators are pumping underground water into farms. In theory, no one owns this water. But Selwyn farmers have water allocations totaling nearly a half a billion cubic metres a year. And that's been possible because of one thing, water. But the water rights in Selwyn have been over allocated. Some underground reserves are running low, and there are now water restrictions. Until we get eight inches of rain in Old Speak or or a foot of snow or something like that, we are not going to get the recharge and we're not going to see it flowing. John Sunkel is a third generation Selwyn dairy farmer. He's also a board member of Environment Canterbury.